the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 161, 1 Kings chapter 16, verse 21 to chapter 17. Three year preparation for the battle at Mount Carmel. The sin of North Israel that continued from Omni to his son Ahab became deeper, and God prepared and sent Elijah, who was a man of God. First point. North Israel saw a series of coup d'etat. With the start of Omni's monarchy, Omni made Samaria into the new capital and stabilized military power. Omni furthermore brought in a princess from Sidon called Jezebel as wife for his son Ahab. But this offered an age of complete idol worship for North Israel. With a heavy heart, God sent the prophet Elijah to North Israel. Whenever God sent a prophet, this was not because all was going well, but because things were going really badly. Elijah's work focused on not turning the people to God, but making them choose between God and the Baals. Because of this, God did not send rain to North Israel for many years. Second point, Omni, the king of North Israel, abused his power more than Jeroboam. When news broke out that Zimni was preparing for a coup d'etat, the people instead divided between Omni and Timni. Omni therefore had to carry out internal war with the supporters of Timni and eventually became the sixth king of North Israel. Omni ruled in Tijra like the previous kings for six years and then moved the capital to Samaria where he built a new palace. But the way he purchased that land of Samaria went against the laws of the kingdom of priests. Omni tried even harder than the previous kings to follow in the way of Jeroboam. He did evil by making Omni laws. Third point, Ahab, who took after Omni, opened the ultimate age of idol worship. Ahab was the next king of the Omni dynasty, and he ruled North Israel for 22 years. He did just as much or even more evil than his father, that he was named the worst king out of the 19 kings of North Israel. His wife Jezebel had a lot to do with this. Ahab, along with his wife Jezebel, made the new capital Samaria full of the temple of Baals and Asherah, and made the country the worst it had ever been since Jeroboam. North Israel went as far as to rebuild the castle of Jericho, which was destroyed by Joshua and was one not to be rebuilt. First point, the prophet Elijah befriended the ravens and prepared for Mount Carmel for three years. Baal and Asherah, which Jezebel brought fully into North Israel, were supposedly meant to help with the growth of crops and also make rain come. The people of North Israel wanted the crops to grow and the rain to come for their abundance, so they strayed away from God. Because of this, God sent the prophet Elijah to announce that there would be a drought. Elijah warned the people of this by telling them of the warning in Leviticus 26 verses 2 to 4 and Deuteronomy 11 verses 16 to 17. God did not send rain to North Israel for over three years. Elijah had to eat food 
brought from a raven and prepare for the debate on Mount Carmel. Fifth point, Elijah and the widow of Zarephath were able to experience God's miracles through their obedience. During the three years in hiding, God sent to Elijah a raven and also a foreign woman. The land of Sidon was where the Baal worshippers flourished and also where Jezebel was from. Zarephath was a place between Sidon and Tyre, but God had made Elijah hide from Ahab and Jezebel in Sidon. The widow at Zarephath was able to learn about God through Elijah, and thus witnessed the great miracle of Andrew's food supplies. She experienced another miracle following the first. God saved her son from death. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.